All right, hello everybody and welcome into the SFA Season 14 Week 12 Bear Cave Games. Another week here. We're three weeks out from uh, the end of the regular season. Let me know if you can hear me before we get started. If you if this is your first time watching, this is the SFA. It's an online dynasty ran through Discord, Twitch, and YouTube. Um, if you want to join, you can join in at any time. Claim a team and you can recruit you can set your playbooks at your depth charts you can participate in our sports book we have a fully uh, functional economy with stocks uh, so check out links in any of the descriptions it's a great time and if you're watching live to avoid missing any of the action um, use your twitch prime sub it is free and uh, as long as you have a twitch prime account and it helps support um, a national championship care package and uh and pin do you have your championship care package on or with you right now i um unfortunately do not because I'm, I'm i'm home on spring break and my trophy is up at school boo well we do have the special guest here coach pinhead um of the oh, yeah, everybody Bulls. could you share your screen oh you shit yeah i totally forgot nice call nice call. how we doing everybody yeah, yeah. Um, what do I share? What do I share? What do I share? Yeah, I can share this. It doesn't matter. All right. Can you see it? Can you see it moving? Yes, I can. Sorry, very I unprofessional do. here. Forgot to share the screen like a dummy. Um, but yeah, check out uh, or use your Twitch Prime subs or whatever, and check out our friends over at Home Field Apparel, the greatest apparel company in the history of ever. They're on a crazy streak of releasing a drop brand new every day for March Madness. And uh, today's was vintage jerseys, so you can use code SFA and uh, get 15% off. You can also use our link, which is in any of our descriptions as well, to support us. And speaking of March Madness, on Sunday is the selection show. That's when our bracket group will go live. You better submit because the winner of that bracket is going to get a 90 overall uh, player. So make sure you participate. Go Bobcats. Go Bobcats. No, no, GCU, baby. Um, but yeah, make sure you submit. March Madness is one of our two big, big um, kind of competitions, I guess, yearly along with fantasy football. And yeah, so let, we're going to go ahead and get started. We've got another Bear Cave. Not too crazy of a week this week, but we, uh, and not too crazy of matchups on paper, if I'm being honest. Bit lackluster matchups, but that's all right. Normally, these are the kind of weeks that over deliver. So, uh, first matchup of the day is going to be in the Mountain West. We've got Fresno State and Hawaii. So, Coach Woolley, if you're here, let me know heads or tails, kick or receive as Fresno State is not currently user coach. So I got Chadley Brown kicking around? Yes, sir. Chadley Brown is the starter. Wooly has Joe Webb and Malik Afruz. This is a 1.5 favorite for Fresno State on the road. And the barricade prop we're, we're looking for is Malik Afruz over or under 84 and a half receiving yards. And the over-under for this game is 49.5. All right, so let's go jump on into it. Wooly, if you're here, let me know. Uh, kick or receive. You ever uh, you ever look up what the V stands for in the Fresno State logo? No. What does it stand for? Victory? It is to re No, it's to represent California's Central Valley, the San Joaquin Valley. And uh, there's, like, innovators that came from there at the university when it's, like, started out or whatever. But, there you uh, go. Fun fact. Yeah. What does the F stand for? <laughs> <laughs> All uh, right. So so this is a big matchup because winner of this game is really going to be the only chance as a cha who has the chance to knock UNLV out of that top spot in the division as they already beat San Diego State. Welcome in, Coach Mango. Remember, use that Twitch Prime sub, and you don't have to look at these ads. You guys complaining in the chat. That's the... Now, I will uh, say... Nathan, you are not... Oh, go, go ahead. 
I said, Nathan, you are not on game day. You are on Bear Cave against Texas A&M, though. Yep, so stick with here in Cryo gifting Mango the sub. Shout out there. Mango, you lucky duck. As you eat your first stream from uh, Pennsylvania, I think it is. Nicely done. Yes, that's where she's at. How does it feel to be watching this much later in the day? Definitely better. I remember when I was in California for those, that one game day. It, just, it felt weird. Game, game day should be at 7 p.m. Nah, 4 that's p.m. Just, is natural. beautiful. And Ooh, all right, so wrong. how is this going to work? We're, we're all the way here on the islands. It's like 11 a.m. for their game day. Is Hawaii woke up this morning, ate their Wheaties. They're up 14 0. Oh, man, Wooly is cooking today. We're going to have a nice little upset to start. They're up 21 and a half. Nice. Go. I don't see much from Fresno State so far. 42. Oh, it's it over. is over. The fat lady is singing. Yeah. So Fresno State choking the defending Mountain West champions. Wait a second. No, it's it's way over. Not enough time. And that's going to do it. Hawaii gets a bombshell here. Win to open the day. Wow. There's a Milika Fruz. So Dixon and then a Fruz, and he gets the over on his yardage just with these touchdowns alone. There you go. Three touchdowns for Malika Fruz. Yeah, they almost got the over. And looking here, okay, they might have just taken him out with uh, being up by so much, but something to watch out for. But Joe Webb, nicely, nicely done. And the running back going crazy. Eight for 193 for Malika Fru, so the over hits. Axel Brooks gets two receptions. And on defense, they really they really stepped up, especially this week. They lost Keyshawn Clemens, the free safety for the year. So when the SFA players goes down, they step up in his place. And let's see what Chadley Brown was able to do. And not that great of a day for him. 154. Hawaii now bowl eligible, correct? That's their sixth win? Uh, yep, Hawaii is now bowl eligible. Now remember, folks, with the new way we're scheduling bowls, you might miss a bowl at six wins. So seven is going to likely be the magic number to make sure for sure you make a bowl game. But yeah, that's going to do it here. JT Heisman might be over. He might have been happy with the player of the year, Mango. Hey, we'll see. Man, one bad week isn't that bad. El Harm continues to own it in the stocks. I don't understand how he keeps doing that. All right. So one game in. Chad's going crazy. All right. So what is... Yeah, 14 yards. What is the next game? It is, oh no, Tulane, the the dream team, the dream squad, the team of destiny, whatever you want to call it, put it, in it on the line against Rice. So uh, Maddox, Coach Legacy, if you're here, let me know heads or tails, kick or receive. And before we get into it, this is a six and a half road favorite for the green wave. And the over under in this game is going to be 50.5. And we're checking out Scott Slaughter, the starter for Whoopty Tibbs. Will he get an anytime touchdown today? Tails in kick for Coach Legacy. Taking on Vernon, the new coach from Rice. You know what's this crazy is... is that this is the best Tulane team we've seen since that season eight run with like Michael Pratt and Tajay Spears. Yeah. And this team sucks compared to that one. <laughs> so bad. No, this team is good. The number one defense in the country. No. That was a Heisman he in the Heisman race until like the, the final week of the season. And we got a crash. Woohoo. All right. Brutal. Oh no, I spoiled the game day graphic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a crash. It's uh of course, of course. The last couple of weeks, the blue square has not been having it. 
So give me a second. If you want to mute, you may. There it is. Yeah, all right. All right. We got to restart here. As always, guys, we're on an emulator. They're not perfect. So all we got to do is reload. Tibbs is not back. No. So uh, mute yourself or quiet your ears. It's going to get gross here. Do I need to reshare my screen? Yeah. Yeah. It's a little loud at the intro. This is just Tulane rigging it. The blue square. The team of destiny. It's on the line. Dust taxes and a blue G5 team making the playoff. But hey, Cryo's, Cryo's schedule has been horrific. Same with Tulane. But they have three games at the, towards the end of the schedule that could really flip it. They've got Rice, they got Louisiana, and then they've got LSU to wrap it up. So Tulane definitely ball is in their court. All right, let's get back here. All right, here we go, folks. We are not going to look at Tulane. All right, here we go. All right, Maddox wants tails and kicks. Enough of the delay. Yeah, Tulsa turning it around as well. Nice shout there, Cryo. Yeah, we're still on version 18 or whatever. Uh, Jackie Moon, welcome. We've got Pin, the, uh, the Buffalo coach. Mod pin pinstripe blue pinhead. A lot of a lot of nicknames. Co for coach me. of Buffalo. -Lel. Was I don't know how I said head coach I, ever in there? No, no, no. I haven't talked to you since you uh, after these couple wins. You've gotten a few very lucky ones the last couple weeks. Pitt was lucky. I agree. Florida State was hella lucky. Last week we, you just you I just smacked them. I was and now we got running rain. back from grabbing dinner for that Florida State game, and I got in my dorm and turned on the stream as Sean Hill threw the screen pass to Amari oh, Dunn. I'm sick. I uh, Almost pissed six territory. As, all right, we get it started here in Rice. They open up the scoring. Remember, the number one defense in the country is Tulane, and they are down here in the first quarter. Come on. Yes, Tulane! We know this team can score in a variety of ways. We know this team can do it in multiple ways. They got a pick six off of a fake punt on Watch Party earlier in the year. Oh, baby, this is a beaut. This is a beaut. Come on, Tulane. Punch it in, yes. I am such a Tulane fan. Let's go. Oh, but they got to hold it. They've got to hold it. Ah, oh. Poats can't do anything. Remember, folks, we'll jump in yeah, at the two-minute mark if it's a one-possession game. Here comes Rice. They haven't scored since the first quarter. No. No, not like this. Not like this. Not like... Oh, my God, are they going to get the stop? We can't jump in. They do! Oh, too late with the goal line stand. Absolutely ah, electric. Yeah, Tulane, the best defense in the country, 17-7. to The cover on a goal line stand. Incredible, Tulane. I'm telling you, Pin, the team of destiny. And Scott Slaughter, he gets the touchdown there at the end. A 70-yard bomb there from Tracy Potts. Congratulations, Legacy. The dream run continues as the true freshman Tracy Potts <laughs> 200 yards he's not doing it oh my god i don't know how calling they did me it. a fake acc coach is crazy slander but <laughs> uh, four tfls here for arnold this is ridiculous i have no idea how tulane is doing this but they yeah, survive frauds, another dude. week they're frauds the team that gets to play Tulane in the playoffs is getting the freest win of all time. Dude, this is reminding me of the Buffalo team that first year you made into the playoff. Yeah. Oh. Where, um, where, where you got yeah, where I you got owned fine. by Clemson. Yeah. That, that's yeah. what's. No, that's a good take. Yeah. 
I still think that team is better than this team. Like, that team had actual, like, like that, that team was still like an 85, 88 overall. This one's a 77. Yeah. Let them cook. <laughs> Rice did, yes. did pretty well. They held them. Um, you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy, Jackie, is that there's one Florida school in the ACC, two New York schools, and like four North Carolina schools. So who's the fake? Who's the fake ACC coach now? Boom! <laughs> the clap back, sir. Coach Nick Woolley, you did miss. However, you absolutely smoked him. 42 to 21, I believe, was the final. All right, as always, folks, I got to get my game day or my players of the game here. We got Tulane. 42. Three touchdowns for Malika Frews. And I'm excited. Some of these barricade props are actually cashing. We got an over and a, uh, and a cash here. So let's cook. All right, next up, we continue to left-hand side. All right, we've got Skook taking on Oil Miss and Coach Nathan. So Nathan, you're up. Uh, the road team is Skook. So Skook, if you're here, let me know heads or tails, kick or receive. We get to see Rex Beavers, Beaver ball in action. Cherish it while we have it. The best stat quarterback in the country. I don't know if he's a junior and a senior, but he's, he's good enough overall to where he may leave anyways. But he's in that time Let's where it's almost out. gone. Um, but this is a 10-point favorite here for Texas A&M. And we're specifically looking for Rex Beaver's total touchdowns over under 5.5. So that's passing and rushing combined. And the fact that that's the line is pretty ridiculous. Oh, uh, well, you have him as a tight end on the database. You should fix that. I always put him as whoever they're... Uh, they they came in meant to be you know what i mean he's a junior and i fundamentally disagree with that i think you should whatever they wind up playing you should move them to but see i enter them during recruiting though so i don't right but you like... could slide them up a little bit and but then it wouldn't change anything but i don't want it's to. so simple but it's so I simple i don't know if that's it doesn't simple. even like there's no formulas or anything Who's, going on i've never known who is that bald dude that they smack his head every time i don't know but old miss all right i don't see any skook here so heads and kick per usual all right here we go nathan you are up can he do the upset. He, he has to win two of his next three to potentially make a bowl game. Is no score here early on. All right, holding Rex Beavers at bay. They do get one, miss the extra point, lol. And still 6-0. Now A&M starting to turn it on. But it's hanging in there. Old Miss only down six here at the break. And oh, a quick touchdown there from Old Miss. Oh, man, we've got a oh barn God. burner here. This one could be dangerous. Oh, they take the lead! No, not like this, Skook. Skook, you can't. Come on, Beaver. All right, Beaver has the ball. Legacy-type moments here. Remember, we don't jump in until the two-minute mark. All right, here we go. Down one. Ole Miss has the ball. First and ten. Timeouts on the line. I think oh, I have tw I think I have 20k on this game, please. 20 on the money line or the spread? The money line for A and M, so it only gave me like 5k. <laughs> Jesus. No! Come on A and M, come on Skook, make a play. Oil on, miss. They hand it off. Oh, he has room. No oh, beauty, beauty. Him. Ryan Jones Who's couldn't find any queen? room. Imagine. No, Taylor McQueen is the backup. All right, third and six. Have to have it. Play. Have to have it for AM. Get the stop. Yes, some nice, nice. play there. Uh, they're probably not in field goal range. The, yeah, his kicker is like notably trash. And they're he? going for it. No. Oh, no. Oh, Nathan Maybe going for the range. jugular. Fourth and two. Pistol. They're going to throw it. Get there. 
Oh, it's tipped away! <laughs> Beaver ball Corey inside! Patterson. Beautiful play there. Phenomenal work. I love how we're both just blatantly going for AM. His Rex Beavers enters the chat. Percy knocks bottom of your screen. I'm a Beavers. big He's yamming it deep! Oh my God. He hits Knox! Touchdown, Beaver! Percy to the end zone, Percy Knox! Oh, baby, just give him the Heisman. Just give him the Heisman. If you don't know Beaver Ball, you do not know the SFA. Is they're going for two? He floats it and he gets it. Wow. I mean, phenomenal. What a comeback and what a change of events. All right, so now we got to see Ole Miss. They have all three timeouts. They still have plenty of time. Brandon Cobbs on the return. Jeez, almost 80 plays today for AM. Yeah, that That very well might be the Reddit play, depending on what happens on game day. All right, minute 40, plenty of time. Their, their starter quarterback is back in. Oh, right through! I think that was Taylor McQueen. Oh, it's AJ Hawk, the other SFA player. I saw oh, the dreads. Yeah. yeah. So nice sack there from the SFA player. Remember, this is a full SFA secondary pretty much. Another blitz. Wow, they got home quick again. Lachey Phantom on the tackle. Dude, this Texas A&M defense is red hot right now. They've not given up really anything since we've actually jumped in and started watching. Oh, yeah, this is definitely one of the best secondaries in the country. And they have Huck Hammer, the number one prospect, coming in next year. Uh, he's Simmons. a D-lineman? Uh, he is a free or a strong safety. Oh, right, right. I don't think Did Taylor McQueen's... Did you take that recruiting form? Yeah. Okay. So Chomp Bogtrotter making his decision later tonight as we get a float there. Corey Bowers, not not Brock Bowers, Corey Bowers. He's up over 100. 49 seconds. You still have your timeouts already in yam range. Things are looking up here, Nathan. I mean, if you take c &M, you almost wondered if you scored too quickly there. Oh, for sure. You you much probably would have rather drive down, kick the field goal for the win, only being down one point. But you know what? You'll, you'll take a beaver yam any day. Increase those Heisman tweets. Is he the favorite right now? Who's the favorite? He's in the top three. The favorite's still the Rutgers guy. As we're yamming it deep, the other Rutgers side in coverage! Down. Dale Campbell can't pick it off. We so should get Dale Shivers back in there. I think he's he's way better than this Sanders fraud. That Sanders fraud has like 22 touchdowns right now. Sounds fraudulent. <laughs> Second and 10. I mean, they did lose to Navy this week. He's sure to drop as he just throws it away. Good oh, decision. Live to fight another down. 35 seconds left here. Nathan does sip. not like the crossbody throws. Is there 4 of 14 right now on the right hash? Split backs. First year in some time. With he has time. Oh, he's open! The one-hander, Jake wow. Cox! If he put that on the that money, that was a touchdown. But Could have done two hands there. the he highlight reel, off. the highlight reel with 20 seconds left is insane. Simmons over the middle hits his man. Brought down. That's Jake Cox again. Got to watch out. This All is this could though. go to OT, man. And this is why Skook recruited so heavily in the secondary. Remember last year, uh, touchdown was seven seconds left to lose to Oklahoma. After went to OT. Can they stop him this time? You remember that. A run. Wide open. And they bring him down. Ryan Jones. 19 seconds Second left. Second timeout for Nathan. This could be a massive upset. Virtually eliminating A&M from at-large contention. Is they are empty. Simmons making a move. 
plenty of time. Oh, and it's packed! A&M! And that's the same middle linebacker, oh. Corey Patterson. My the fourth Player down, the and now sure. he clinches it. Drive home safely, Skook. What Skook. a game, bag. Scoot gets out with a heart attack. Beaver Ball lives on. The CFP hopes live to fight another day. And for Coach Nathan, he is sick to his stomach. Oh, my. <laughs> Nathan in the chat. I just told you don't force it. That's why you get benched next year. <laughs> oh, man. Well, what I was going to bring up as we were going to head to overtime was that this is the first season in seven or eight years that Ole Miss has not had an SFA quarterback at the helm. That's true. It went from Matt Ryan to Ryan Fitzpatrick. I mean, Matt Corral, technically an SFA player, but he was you know notable enough at the start that I think he qualified, but... Rex. Now, it's, now it's the Simmons guy, and he, he doesn't have it. Rex Beaver. So the under's looking crispy. He would have to have, uh, oh, yeah, over under five and a half touchdowns. They only got five total touchdowns, so he did not hit it. But Corey Patterson, man, on that fourth down there and the pick in the end zone, the player of the game. And how about the one play yamma jamma to Percy Knox? Wild. What's the next game we got? Uh, next game up is going to be a big one. Iowa at Minnesota to potentially decide the prediction. division. Let me throw a prediction down. All right. Let's see what you got. Oh, you want me to throw a prediction? Do, uh, what, if, what if we did... Who was the? Didn't Rick bring in an SFA quarterback? No, he is whoever no. the backup oh, was. Oh, I would did. Rayshon Gloop. Gloop. Yeah, there Gloop, you right? go. Yeah. What if we did Gloop? Hmm. Thinking touchdowns, interceptions. Oh, you want me to throw a prediction for the Twitch? You mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, if it's Gloop, we gotta go touchdowns. Because you gotta get Gloop. I will. I think I was, I'm betting every single one of my bombers on this prediction. Are you making it? I don't have to make it. Let's go. Uh, so yeah, Jackie Knight it. got one. AJ Hawk got one. Corey Patterson to INT. Freddie Furman gets two deflections. Look at him cook. Horse fumble there. And for Ole Miss. Tough one there for Simmons. Couple of great plays there. They also got a return touchdown in this game. TFL, we want me to set the line at. Uh, if it's, are you doing pass touchdowns or total? We'll do total. So if it's total, probably two and a half. Maybe three and a half. Over under. Uh, we'll do. I'll start the prediction now. I'll do a minute. Um. All right. So, uh, get your predictions in. We got a Rayshon Gloop touchdown line. Use your Bob and If up. I predict, would you be able to to pay it out? Yeah. Right. Um. So, got a couple questions here. So, what's happened so far? So, we had a Hawaii blowout of Fresno State. We had Tulane win 17-7 to over Rice. And then we had A&M just win on a couple of last-second yams. Or on the, on the final two-minute yam and then a defensive hold. Um, and then finally, for Nick, wants to... Uh, know how the g5 auto bid works is the highest ranked group of five champion in our final rankings gets an auto bid into the 12 team field that doesn't mean that there can't be multiple group of five teams but it means that at least one group of five champion so you first you have to win your conference and then you have to be the highest ranked out of the other out of the five total teams 
to get that auto bid. But in UNLV and Tulane's case, we've never let out we've never left out an undefeated team, so all they gotta do is win out and they'll both be in. Um but yeah, now we're going to the Big Ten. And the Big Ten man Maryland, I believe, with the win this week, clinched the division. Or no, no, not this week. I think that they have to win next week. But Iowa and Minnesota, the winner of this game, is in the driver's seat in the division. It's not clinched, but it gives it, like, right now it's about 50-50. It will jump whoever the winner is up to, like, 80%. So, uh, Coach, um, who's the Coach Jarkus? Coach Jarkus, let me know if you're here. Jarkus. Heads or tails, kick or receive. And this line is a two-point favorite for Rick. So, 25,000 bananas on the over. Uh, MDOT Legacy put 24,000 of those. On the nice. under, three different people combined for 3,000. I think I put down 1,000. Cryo put down, uh, I think, a buck 18. So, so not a lot of uh, gloop truthers. And then, the, and then the Bear K prop today for this game is Marvin Irby Sachs, the defensive end for Minnesota. Will he get a sack today? So... We'll jump on here. The Battle of the Floyd of Rosedale. No idea what that means. Is that a flower? Let's find out. Battle of the Floyd of Rose. Both these teams have had really up and down seasons. Some weird head scratching losses. Some big time victories. Remember Minnesota was just like Buffalo's escaped all year barely uh what end zone interception away from beating buffalo early in the year is like I said both four and two and three and two in conference oh, yeah. and northwest you want, lost you want a history today. lesson sure let's give us the so battle in 1935 of the in 1935 the governors of iowa and minnesota agreed that the winner of the game would receive a prized hog from the losers governor's home state so go. the gophers won 13 to 6 because that's what big 10 football is back then and they were presented with an iowa hog from iowa's rosedale farms and then the next year they were like maybe transporting a live pig back and forth isn't the best idea so they made a 98 pound statue of the pig life size and uh yeah and, mm. so that's why it's and called been back and forth ever since all right, who yeah. is gonna be? I guess, I guess his name was Floyd. Who is gonna be cranking hog after this game? <laughs> oh God, I feel like Minnesota with an early touchdown, fourteen zero. Minnesota wants that hog. Iowa seventeen so seven. Oh, I would not able to punch it in. All right, so you under betters are looking crispy here. 24-7 for Minnesota. They have been reeling the last couple of weeks. And still a two-score game. Iowa has the ball. No, you got to punch that in, Gloop. Remember, this is the, the team that got super lucky last week on that uh, game-clinching run from Madsen against Wisconsin. All right, big yeah. play there from the Gloopster. Nice little penalty. Come on, punch it in. Punch it in. Punch it in, Gloop. Oh, my God. The Harmon defense. Flame. Remind me later in chat. I'll tell you the end of this. Oh, a scoop and score for Iowa. The defense once I'd again comes through yeah. for the Hawkeyes. And they get a long touchdown by Mobley right before we were going to jump in. So we can't jump in now. 31-17. They've got to get a long TD here. It doesn't look likely. Iowa. Oh, no. Under betters, loving life right now. Rick may be in the driver's seat. Oh, are they going to score? Hold on, this could hit you on the over. Is this going to be the worst? No, no touchdown there. Rick wins it in his first year back from his coaching hiatus. He very well could be going to the Big Ten Championship, but he still has a couple of games he has to finish. And how about Mobley? A couple big-time runs. He got a 76-yarder. Willie Anderson got himself a touchdown. And then he got a 62-yarder. So 
So Rayshon Gloof threw it 47 times. Not going to have that much success doing that. Tough day at the helm here. Willie Anderson gets five receptions. This would be Rick's third conference championship game. So far, he's won and won both games against Washington when he was on oh, the Sunday Bowl. Look at you. And all of those resulted in Citrus Bowls. <laughs> no playoffs. Yeah, uh, he's the king of the Citrus. Yeah. Always one step short. All right, Marcus Smith having himself a game manager type of a day. Mobley over 200 yards, three touchdowns, one touchdown here on the ground. And Jude Abraham and no Devin Hester. No one's hating on Rick. Yeah, nobody. We love Rick, but he. it is true, though. Rick. that And that's kind of the story of that Pac-12 South is Irby doesn't get a sack. Is they never, like, that division always gets a weird winner at the end for some odd reason. Last happened again this Stanford. year with Arizona and Stanford in a pissy match for it. Yep. So Delvin Blizzard it gets pay a out the, uh, the, yes. the prior prediction when you get a chance. Yeah, yeah. Give me my bobbiness. All right, cryo. Just saying, man. All right. So what? The under hit? Ooh, 11%. Yeah. You said that, Bang. man, your eyes got a little bit too big for you, Legacy, there, after the big win. Pocket a little 9,000 babanas there. Let's go. Tough loss there for Iowa. But still a chance in the division. You just got to hope Minnesota continues. But now Minnesota could be a four-loss team making their way to the to the college football playoff. All right, so next up is, oh, baby, we got Akron at Miami, Ohio. Akron, who Coach Cam comes in, and somehow they reel off, what is this, five straight victories? Or is it six straight? I don't know, but uh, Cam, since you're here, let me know heads or tails, kick or receive. And this is a push line. And the Bear K prop, the quarterback for Akron, Jed Powers, pass touchdowns over under two and a half. Now, we have seen something ridiculous from Akron almost every time they've ever been on Bear Cave. So we'll see if there's more Akron magic in them as they are still at play in the, in the division. And I believe Louisville lost this week in overtime to Ball State. So I think the division opens up in Miami, Ohio. We're a long ways removed from those great teams. I used to battle Buffalo and Toledo. The golden the golden age of the Mac. Fun fact. Cam is the first coach in the history of the Mac to have his name be Mac spelled backwards. <laughs> I love the I love the fact there. I, uh, I know a lot about the Mac, too. I don't know if we want to get into that. As, like, the uh, TC is the first coach in SFA history to be named, have two letters that are the same as TCU. Fun fact, TC <laughs> deletes a lot of shit for a guy whose name is Topless Cuddles. <laughs> no, I know. I've rebranded. I've rebranded. TC. You've if you catch me on Xbox... Yes, I've rebranded to Coach TC. I, uh, I'm i in my PG era. All right, let's see you, what... Your Discord name has not changed. Well, I don't know what to tell you. My server name changed. As we got a 7-7 seven, 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 seven tie here after the first. 14-7 for these, Miami, Ohio. Come on, program. Akron. Oh, my God, Akron. No. Cam gets some spotlight, and he immediately folds. No! You guys want an, an actual fun fact is that Akron Buffalo Season 8 was the birth of the Irons clan as EJ Irons beat me in overtime. That is true. Uh, the and, Irons and, like, clan. TC, yeah, TC Giraffe and Neil and all the other degenerates were like, dude. Oh! <laughs> Irons, wait go. a second, folks! We've got a comeback! All right, folks, here we go. 
Akron has the ball. Two minutes left, down eight. They were down 28-7 at one point. We got Jed Powers. Come on, Akron. Can they do something insane? You we're know, up to it, it'd be irons, encouraged right? to snap the ball here, you know? I mean, looks like Cam's taking his time. Maybe he thinks he has the lead. Is there going to run option? That goes Ice. nowhere. Ice. And uh, is that Otto Tidwell? It is. The former Arizona wow. defensive end who transferred after as the bust, the only defensive lineman Dogwater was able ever able to get. Potentially just ruined Cam's debut. That's hilarious. All right, third and 11 here. Powers going to be screen pass. He throws that. Oh, he gets there. First down, Akron. Wow. The dream stays alive. Three time Tyron. outs for Coach Cam. Tyrone I mean, the Easley. Thing really They're hurrying it up. Three timeouts left. Powers has two passing touchdowns at this point. He's floating in. He hits him in the seam. Wow. Jeff McCullough. Wasn't pretty, but it got where it needed to go. Absolutely. But he layered that bitch right in there like a croissant. Just cool. okay, over under 2.5. And he takes off now, Powers, and he goes down. Remember, they still need that two-point conversion. I think they went for two on their previous touchdown. Didn't get it. The analytic play. Second and 12 now. Man in motion. True sickos game of the week. Powers over the middle. Hits him in stride. And that is going to be short. Andrew Thompson, a third down as they use that second timeout. Now, you, you face Miami, Ohio a ton. Do you think they're going to get this done? Miami, Ohio was one of those teams where, obviously, when I first came in, they were the again! program back. And uh, Addo Tidwell again. But uh, Miami, Ohio always always hangs in these games, even when they kind of fell off and they lost Matt Kippenhammer and, and uh, all those other guys. They always found ways to hang in games. As they float it, but not here. Watch, but. Akron hanging in the fourth down conversion. The dream continues. Otto Tidwell that, has two Miami, sacks. Does Miami have a coach these days? Uh, no. Or yes, they do. But non non active coach. coach in there a couple years ago, right? Oh, he has them. Pretty sure the analytic play, I'm Mike, is when there. you're down 14 to go for two on the first one. Pretty sure that that's a pretty well-known analytic play. So second and two now. I do have to, unfortunately, agree with TC here. You get the first. All right. I could have to avoid the sack here. Cannot, cannot take a sack. That'd be detrimental, obviously. Yeah, no but more timeouts. No time I don't know why they used one there. They got the first. Kind of a bad play. So first and goal. Powers floats it, gets rid of it. Big time, big brain move there. Get rid of it as he's hit. Lives to find another That's kind of what down. I'm talking about. Potentially two, potentially two, maybe three plays left. Split backs. Are we going to see a screen pass like Buffalo? No, we're not. Oh, they bring the blitz, and it's tipped away. Alex Lee, he had the chance. He could have done a... Done an A&M right there. So third and goal. Still likely they still have a chance at two plays here. A little bunch to the left. Man in motion. To keep the undefeated streak. And he's going to be short. And that's game. the game. No. Miami, Ohio survives. I thought he dropped My, it. This he probably should have, to be oh, honest. Clearly, five, uh, five TFL, three sacks. Wow. And the SFA I, player, uh, Otto Tidwell, kills it. This was the 10th meeting between these two programs in SFA history. Miami, Ohio improves to six and four. There you go. It's a, it's a very close little rivalry here between two Ohio schools. Teams. 
Uh, Miami, Ohio, I believe, is the only MAC school to not be under 500 against Buffalo. I went three and three against them in my time. Yeah, Cam. Yeah, normally, the only MAC school. Um, normally, I it doesn't result in that kind of a favored line, but the hype from Akron turned it into uh, turned into a push. You typically, I mean, if you're Akron, you still have to be happy with the season up to this point. Oh, for sure. A chance at a bowl game after starting, what, 1-3 and three or 0-3? Oh Akron is living large right now. All right, let's see how this game shook out as they got a defensive touchdown. They were up. Oh, man. Oh, Akron got themselves a defensive touchdown as well. So player stats, Powers, he only gets two passing touchdowns, so the under hits on the line. And rushing, Bryson Wolf, unable to generate much of anything. They played really well, though, on that last drive. TFL's Trent Beverly, only sack, and he got an interception. Big day here, three INTs today for the Zips. But unable to I'll get it done. I'll tell you, that's the difference between programs that stay stuck in this kind of irrelevant position and programs that have the potential to take that next step is even the games that you lose, if you're able to hang in them till the end and you're able to make it you know, competitive until the clock hits zeros. I mean, Akron has to hang their hats on that today. And how about SFA player Otto Tidwell left to die on Miami, Ohio. He gets his stream moment, three sacks, Five TFLs. I always like to see an SFA player get like a random big game out of nowhere. Oh, I forgot. I have to play Clemson. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Well, Clemson's trash this year, isn't it? aren't they? Yeah, but it's Clemson. Come on. You know that we're gonna get no. Smoked. I know. I'm, I'm after, actually so after beating Clemson. Tennessee. I'm gonna get clapped by Clemson well, in the sim. Just would that know. forfeit? I uh, not forfeit. Would that uh, eliminate you from the title game? Um. Yeah. Any ACC loss today, I'm eliminated if Georgia Tech wins. So that game's coming up. But first, we got Wyoming at San Jose State. So we've got a uh, coach wind. This is the Patreon game of the week. Surprise, this game even got picked. But, uh, Wind, I know that you wanted... Let me check. Uh, I think they just have home away. Da -da 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 -da. So, yeah, standard brown, yellow, white for me. Oh, there's yellow ones. All right, if there's yellow jerseys, that's what we're going with. So, Wyoming, 7-2. What's your fun fact? Seven and two. What's your is fun that game? Wyoming has never beaten San Jose State in SFA history. Oh, that is a fun fact. Is we're going to go a nice little yellow versus blue here. So, uh, Wind, if you're here, let me know heads or tails. Kick or receive. This is a big one. And that's kind of weird because San Jose State is not anything special. They've never been good. So no, they've, played, they've only played three times. Okay. One of them was on Sim Matchup. There you go. What um is is these nuts still here? who the kicker the kicker oh he's these nuts, nuts? uh i th don't think so i think he graduated he might be a senior look into it um, um my other fun fact is that this game is designed for people that hate like good enjoyable football games <laughs> this is a seven point favorite for wyoming and they're good this year, and it's a 52.5 over under, and we're looking for Perry Potts anytime touchdowns. Two plus, though. You got to look for two. As Wyoming, surprising this year, but still not clinched the division. A win today will clinch it, it seems, as I believe five wins will be enough. He did graduate last season. Okay. So I don't see wind, but it's going to be a heads and kick. Do your uh, am I mad great. that we traded uh, Jerry Judy? No. Not even a little bit. He's terrible. 
I'm mad that, that we only got like a sixth or whatever for him, but understandable, he's terrible. All right, Wyoming, 7-0, 14-0, all right. So showing up like they do in the sim. Remember, they had a tough loss on watch party. And all of a sudden, here comes San Jose State. Oh, they have the lead. They're up 10. Oh, no. 24 unanswered as we head to the... Oh, my God! San Jose State giving the Cowboys the business live on Bear Cave. Down 10. Can they... Oh, they get a long touchdown. That is a 51-yarder from Perry Potts. Oh, game, this, this is, is a game. This is some late-night Mountain West action here. And Wyoming has the ball again. They're driving. They're driving. They're driving. Inside four. They take the lead right back. There we go. No quit in this team. So can San Jose State respond now? Remember, we won't jump in until that two-minute mark. I, I thought it was over. Flame is absolutely right. And San Jose State, they have two minutes here, down three. It took Penn roughly six years, keep in mind, with the decent uh, in Toledo teams. Yeah. It takes time, I think, I think it's a great but point, you'll though. get there. I, I think it's – I mean, look how long it took you to build ECU into into the powerhouse that it is today. Yeah, no, so these people – like, you can't just come in – but people that come in and expect success instantly or even within a year or two, it's it's just not going to happen like that. They had a program, churn out SFA players, you know, go through a couple of recruiting cycles, and you'll see the results. It, no one's ever stayed at a program for like four seasons and turned out to be a shitter. It just doesn't happen well, like that. Well, Wyoming, but then they got the dream improvement this year. Wins like the first one, but he's uh Right, he's but even then, it's not like he was bringing in huge recruiting classes each year. Yeah, that's true. Um, but yeah, it, it's all about if you take a bad team, you you got to just try to get to bowl eligibility. And then from there, then you can start thinking about a yes. uh, dream year. Exactly. Um, but, and, that, but Cryo, I disagree with that even where he's saying he, like he's the exception because Lama spent two or three years building that team before you got there. So it's not like you just walked into a shitter and turned them around like Lama had, had laid down the tracks for that for that to happen. Yeah. As San Jose State is moving this rock, folks. Already fringe field goal range, depending on the kicker. Probably not even close. Is Dan Bennett 9 of 24 today? Let him feast. Hey, pick it down. Oh, yeah. Steeler Nation, let's ride. No, no, <laughs> we are not going to talk about that. No. Oh, he almost picked off the screen. He hits the outside. Broken tackle inside the 15. Dude, Derek, why? Brandon Ford. Uh, the combination of the, the colors and the number is just that guy's Derek Watt to me. Very, very true. So first and 10 now for the... Uh, I keep calling them the Aztecs, but they're the Spartans. Triple option. All right, Bennett, and he flips it out. Nothing but green. Touchdown, wow. San Jose State. They take the lead. In Wyoming, oh, they do have two timeouts left. I thought they didn't have any timeouts for a second. That would have been bad. We have oh, watched a lot of the maybe. games today, Jackie. That is uh, true. Yeah, it's been a... Yeah, the Cowboys have spawned here. Yeah, man, we're, we're just about halfway point. We've watched a lot of games so far. Sometimes we got a bit long of a... Uh... Normally, Bear Cave is about an hour 10, hour 20 minutes. We're already at 53. So, And we did have a crash as well. So, And yeah, watch parties. You do not want to be on watch parties. We've had, I think, three or four straight upsets on watch party. As... This week, it was Arizona State giving Utah the business. That VOD will be available uh, after game day. All right, so Jamie Breckenridge, the sophomore quarterback, needs a game-winning drive, and he hits that over the middle. Wide open man down the same. Nobody's there. <laughs> they finally track him down. Unbelievable. His first catch of the day. Dude, we've had – this has been a – over delivering bear cave when we as soon as i hopped on call we said usually when you get oh another one two play response <laughs> for wyoming 
Unbelievable! We said you, when you have a snoozer of sim games, usually Bear Cave makes up for that. Yeah, and and, and so when you far, think it really has. and when you think the games that have been chosen are like meh or you know, not not a lot of excitement, they pop off. Is that a miss? Oh, they really do. Oh, oh so no. that opens oh. up the field goal. Wyoming boinks the extra point. <laughs> this game is on steroids. I, I'll have to go into replay to see if it was blocked. I don't think it was, but I wasn't watching. I think he was just short. Were you watching that one? Uh, no, I dropped my phone. So I was yeah, I that. don't want. I almost never watch because I'm normally writing the timestamp for my highlights. All right, so now San Jose State right back in the same spot. Still have three timeouts, 40 seconds left. Going back to the screen pass, they've been killing it with the running back out of the backfield. A stiffy? Eric a broken Watt. tackle? Yeah, this kid keeps breaking tackles left and right. Finally cleaned up there on the edge. Actually, you know they, what? I forget. Der Derek Watt was an SFA player. He was trash. He, he was a number one recruit. Yes. And he went to Ole Miss and Ole Miss sucked ass. Yep. And second we and one get, now. We've had two Watt brothers. Oh, we there he goes! Oh, he breaks away! Oh, Inside the 25. This is this has shades of the watch party this week where Arizona State and Utah are just going blow for blow in the fourth quarter late. I can't even keep up with all the yams. They bring a blitz. Just dumps it off to his man again. Out of bounds. And if you're Wyoming, now Brandon you've got to... Brandon become my favorite player in the XFA very quickly. <laughs> let, me, let me find out what his story is. You're look. I mean, I'm sure he's just a in-game recruit. Trash, yeah. No, I know, but if he's like an underclassman, we should throw him in the portal. Throw him up some interest. Yeah, Second always a senior ten. red shirt. God damn it. It's always a senior red shirt anytime something cool happens. And all right, that's going to stop the clock. Or that's going to keep it rolling. And they're gone. Oh, my God, they might choke. Last play. No, Wyoming might look out. To the end zone. Shot to the end he zone. holds it oh to God. the end zone. And it's caught! A walk-off touchdown! <laughs> the Spartans do it! They don't settle for the field goal! They go for the dagger in the heart! And the two-point conversion to add insult to injury! Holy shit! Disrespectful. Disrespectful. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> it wouldn't have mattered. But oh my god. What are we watching? It remains undefeated. San uh, Wyoming. Oh my God! Well, the was pots it three scores under two minutes. Yeah. Well, the po was? yeah the pots line hits. Oh my gosh! That's the kind of result that'll get me a noise complaint. I gotta chill out here. What'd you get in there? Was it the Tennessee Illinois game? I mean, the Tennessee Stanford game. I don't. I don't remember. It was a. It was a. It was a playoff game last year. Yeah. Yeah. Was it Alabama Stanford? Maybe. <laughs> it was. Yeah. It was one of the left side games. Yeah. I'm trying to remember. Forty-four forty. The over hits in Wyoming takes a tough loss there. Just no defense to speak of. What a game. Yeah, Flame, you're right. That was a spicy one. Whew. That one got me out of my chair. Cryo now hoping for Air Force <laughs> in his conference championship. We've seen crazier. That I mean, that 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 division is always so bad. All right, so pots. This Br Michael Brown guy popping off your your Bryson Ford, or whatever Brandon Ford seventy seven yard rush. He's Holy actually the last. Toledo. Actually, technically San Jose State bowl bowl hope still alive. So there you go. Let's go. As Jamie Breckenridge three thirty one three touchdowns very tough loss today. Perry Potts three touchdowns as well. Spreading the love around very nicely. 
And TFL's Pud Foxtail gets himself a sack. The XFA player. A couple of deflections here. No fumbles Is Pud to speak Foxtail of. a transfer? Who? Is Pud Foxtail a transfer? No, he's an SFA player that uh, that he got um, recruiting. Is Dan Bennett only 15 passes completed, but 283 and four touchdowns, including that walk off. Brandon Ford 144, one touchdown, seven broken tackles, probably you, much more than that. You know why I know the name Pud Foxtail because he like that was the the Burnbridge, Javon Ohio, Al Marshman. That class, I submitted for every D tackle, and I didn't get a single one. <laughs> that was brutal. <laughs> but I got Dale Shivers and... Uh, yeah, Dale Shivers was a good one. Tom All right. Lawrence, uh, so before yeah, we get out of this one, I want to check back on that extra point. Because if it was blocked, we've never seen a blocked kick. This is mad. No, it was just a flub. Oh, what he's a terrible shocked. kick. Oh, he's just trash. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right. Now it's everybody's favorite. We get to watch me sim my game and lose. No, because I don't want Clemson to start rolling, so I'm un I'm regrettably uh, rooting for ECU right now. Wow. Because I don't need Clemson gaining momentum. Well, you're nothing to me right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be facing Georgia Tech in the. Yeah, TV as it no stands what. right now, you're facing Georgia Tech. So right now, Which... Mike, Mike, start paying attention. If I lose this game, you don't even have to take the field today. You could forfeit and you'd win the ACC, uh, Coastal. So, here we go. Remember, user games are sim live. I do not know this result. Oh dear. Oh. Oh, God. I'm now nervous. Vanilla, please? Oh, okay. Oh, my God. Hey. Hey. Oh, actually just Kill trash, Patrick man. Cook. I oh mean, they, their quarterback is bad. They had a couple of injuries. One in six in conference is just not going to do it. As ECU, man, nine and one. Seven. We'll take that. So now we have NC State and Miami in front of us before a potential playoff. And I'm not even that mad about missing the ACC championship this year because last season I made the ACC championship as a as the number two team in the country, and I dropped to nine after losing to Clemson in overtime. And that's that just kind just of... Auto bid. That's not that you were the ninth ranked well, team. That was just how the auto bids worked. Well, so there's five auto bids, right? But... Yeah, that's... There's six? Okay, yeah, six, and then I did not get one of the top two auto bids, or top two at-large home games, at which is kind of BS. Um, but, and then I had to I go know. to Statesboro. Yeah. Anyways, enough waffling about last year. I would have lost to Oklahoma anyways. Um, all right, now we're going I'm to the Pac-12. I last year. <laughs> yeah, your last that year was not stopped. that great. Um, all right. So I mean, Pac it, it was the most boring 10-win season you'll ever see. Well, yeah, I, I, you didn't have – you only had, I think, one win over a bull-eligible P5 team. All right, Oregon. Yeah, it was just – yeah, whatever. Coach Dave, heads or tails, kick or receive. Um, let me make sure I got his uniform requests. Who's the Washington quarterback these days? Black helmet, wolf gray shirt, and black pants. Wow, tell me you didn't watch the last game day without telling me. We got Bryson Ford over here. I did here. not. So you like Brandon Ford? Get ready for Bryson Ford. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. So we want but, uh, a black why did helmet. Transfer? Is that broken promise? Yeah, it was a broken promise. So I don't see black here, Dave, but i thinking that you're wanting this nightmare green. It's kind of black. You don't see black, I don't see any color. See color. Wolf gray shirt. I love that jersey. And then black pants. These right. are good uniforms, Dave. Alright, I don't see Dave, um, but 
here we go. Now, Washington, they, they turned a lot of heads beating Arizona two weeks ago, and then they turned out an absolute crap against Chad Blunt in California, who Chad Blunt's in the Heisman race right now. So we'll see if they can uh, yes. they can turn the tide. And we're looking at um, this game is a three-and-a-half-point favorite for Washington. Over-under is 51.5. And specifically for the line or the prop, we're looking at Todd Dull tackles. He was a crazy man against Arizona. We'll see if he gets over or under seven and a half tackles from the middle linebacker position. So Washington, still a top five team after their recent loss. Another loss, though, could actually even put the division in jeopardy. So no Dave, so it's going to be a heads and kick. And Washington wins. So Coach Damien. Trying to get back to the playoff. Seen Washington in quite a few playoffs recently, but uh, haven't been able to win hardly any. As Oregon starts out the scoring, remember Sal Easton is back. So 14 to 7 now. Washington Sal does Easton. have the fun distinction of uh, running flame out of town the first time. There that you go. Fourth and 26. Sawyer Rationelli for a 40-yard tutty. Oh, I, dude. I love that call. The Sawyer Rationelli run was at season 10. Yeah. That was an awesome, like, he was like Wes Welker. Or yeah, not dude. even, he was like Danny Amendola, just this little white guy that turned up in the playoffs. So 28-24, this is a, a very, very, uh... oh, here comes Washington. So now two scores. I thought this was going to be a very close finish, but... Pulling away late is Washington. We'll see if Oregon can battle back here. They've got to get a stop. And they hold them to a field goal. All right, so a chance, but they've got to get a got to get a score quickly. There's Bo Jackson. Time's just running out. This is this is not good. And that's gonna do it. A turnover. And Washington escapes. They get the cover. And I think that clinches the division. Potentially for him is Clifford gets an 82 yarder and then they just pulled away late with Bentley. <laughs> that purple W still give me nightmares as Sal Easton yeah. junior season. He'll be coming back three touchdowns returning from injury. Bo Jackson, they just couldn't get a run game going. Spread the ball pretty well. And a lot of SFA players coming in, so Oregon is going to be much better next year in Sal Easton senior year. So if he comes back, hopefully, hopefully. That he they're going to be a dark horse to win the conference for sure. As you check out Washington, Bryson Ford, the, the sophomore, decent day. But Dominique Bentley, he is the man here. And uh, Bain, only three receptions here, Daryl Bain. Then on defense, 12 tackles, 5 TFLs for Will Taylor. Oh, dude, I forget Sack. that this Washington team beat me. That's annoying. Yep, they're your only loss. So if they keep winning, you're, you're happy, yeah. right? Um, Washington, I guess so. So Todd Dahl here, 4 tackles. So the yeah. under I mean, hits for happy. that one. A couple forced fumbles, and that will do it here from the Pacific Northwest. We've got a couple more games here on Bear Cave. A lot of, a lot of conference, a lot of CFP implications. As this was big for Washington to get back in the wing column after a tough loss. Because remember, like these top teams, sure they may be, you might consider them quote unquote a lock for the playoff, but they, they got a battle for a first-round buy, and those buys are critical. All right. So next up is we've got is there Georgia with the, uh, at Tennessee. Is there anything with the buys and, like, losses anymore? Or is the... What do you mean? Like, if, 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 if like, an 8-4 and four team wins the conference, can they still get, like, a, a, a first-round buy? So the only people who can get theory. buys, the only people who can get buys are ones that win their conference. So for an eight and four or a nine and four champ to get a buy, they'd probably have there'd have to be two other teams like that, basically. 
So yeah. they're like the G5 okay. sucks because we could put the G5 in there if we wanted to. Um, so all right, Tennessee trying but to I bounce there's, back. There's no more like. But yeah, no, no at large buys. These, yeah, okay. Yeah, no, no. That's why I dropped to nine. And he wanted the Smoky Grays. I love that he's bringing them out. I like the Smoky Grays. So Nick, if you're here, kick or receive. Um, and you have a bet going on this one. You have uh, Boss Hennessy rushing touchdown, but Hen this is a four point favorite for Tennessee. And the gonna... over under for this game is 58.5. And yeah, that's Boss Hennessy rushing touchdowns. So we'll, we'll see. Nick said kick. All right, we got the Smoky Grays. And this is a must win for Tennessee. Must wins here on out. They already have three losses. They want to make the playoff. Four losses. I mean, there's probably a world where there's an at large possibility. But they they very My. they very much want to win the SEC at this point. As Georgia's My having a fact, terrible year. For this game is going to be that this series is tied five five all time. There you go. And uh, we've had some great battles between these two. Ryan McBrien, of course, and Lewis Shire going at it. Now you got Georgia with the Dick Weed at the helm. He's had a bad year, but we're in Neyland. And Bishop Moore is hurt, correct? Yes, it or will be bench? Boss Hennessy, even though he's out there for the coin toss. At least I don't think he's back. Five weeks, I'm pretty sure this was Bishop part of Moore it. feels like he'd be a cancer patient. <laughs> well, a quick touchdown there for Tennessee. 14 to 3. Oh boy, the Sim Gods have shown up today for Coach Nick. Saving grace for him is always the Sim, it seems. But wait a second, Georgia's kind of hanging in there. Missed extra point. But yeah. Good stiffy touchdown. There's an interception there for Tennessee. All right, Georgia battling back. But anytime you get in a score versus 10. Okay, it's over. I hate these sim. <laughs> oh my god, they're such frauds! I expose them on game day, and they come back and score forty on Georgia. Everybody's gonna be like, "Oh my god, Tennessee's good." Oh wait a yeah, second. Yeah, me personally, I would never lose to a trash program like Tennessee. <laughs> uh, that's an easy win here for Tennessee, forty to twenty-four. So Georgia now fighting bull eligibility, five and five. Critical win there for Tennessee is you got Des Stiffy getting a couple. God damn Des it. Stiffy again. Boss Hennessy, there oh, you I go. Did it. Let's go. The rushing touchdown caches if you bet on that. <laughs> and Mike, and then Mike says losing to Tennessee is no shame, in my opinion. No, no, man. The way you lost to Tennessee was shameful. <laughs> like. If you lost to Tennessee playing like this, it's fine. But when you lose to uh, Bishop Moore, like five interceptions, <laughs> I I didn't bet on Tennessee as Hen Hennessy had an okay game, o over three hundred yards, touchdown, and then on the ground in the sim, these two are electric. Des Stiffy is kind of the epitome of of sim god stream fraud. He never shows up on stream, uh, but Tennessee did what they normally do here, just. <coughs> Kind of choking you out, not giving you any life. Three TFLs. Sippins gets a sack. No interceptions. A couple deflections. Kobe Dread. Kobe Dread should have been black. That's on you. I don't pick the player models, but okay. <laughs> Dick Weed. Saying, you should have picked that one. For his name's Dread. His name's Kobe, and he's a cornerback. I mean, what are we doing? I mean, hey. Uh, I don't see. I don't see race. Over here, when it makes I don't see color either. I'm just saying you should. You probably should have liked. Two hundred forty-eight for Dick Weed, Randy McBrien, James Nash, Brent Davis. Yeah, this this team's a couple years from. Uh, yeah, colorblind over here, Cryo. Um, hey, Jose Jose's brother gets a TFL. Interception for Kellen Harrison. Force fumble, Khalil Reeves, SFA player, and that will do it. Got a Big 12 showdown coming up next. 
All right, so after a crazy first half of the graphic, the second half's kind of settled down a little bit here as we've gotten a couple of nice covers with no, uh, no issues. Remember, folks, you still got a full I mean, game you. coming from the ACC, the best I'm conference in the country this year. Always down for a, for a big Josh Patterson legacy game. It's our first time seeing them on a full game day. So next up is, you're right, it is the TCU game, I believe. So, Mango, if you're here, heads or tails, kick or receive, as this as TCU lost to Baylor last week, a crazy game there. And tails never fails and give us the ball, as this is an 11-point spread here for TCU. And... JT Redwine, over under 324.5 passing yards. And the over under for the game itself, 51.5. Maybe a little low. All right, Mike Gron stall. No, no slandering the Buffaloes. They are not bison. They are Buffaloes. Thank you very much. They are trash, is what he's trying to say. So this is my final in my four part or my fourth bet. Um, I'm three for three so far. I bet my full seventy thousand, and it would net me like thirty two k, if they all hit. So, I need a TCU win today. Here in Folsom, the best stadium in the country. Blue Jackson, at least not yet. Just buying a safety net. We got to see a little. Can I submit here. a reject if? You know what, never mind. All right, so Tails never fails, and give us the ball. So TCU, first loss since the Cotton Bowl to Minnesota. How do they respond today? Quick touchdown there. Let's this go. Is, this one very well could be a full-on full on barn burner. Is Colorado is giving the them over. the business, but TCU... I hope we're there all going to some blatant favoritism for TCU because I'm a big fan. I mean, I like TCU as much as the next guy, but going up against my Buffaloes, I'm only betting for TCU because they. I have the bet, and of course the Buffs are going to screw me here. All right, there you go, TCU. But Coach Schwartz, come on, one more score, building, one more score. Give me he's the over. building something here. We're getting close. It's not going to be easy. The Buffaloes have been pretty good this year. So Redwine, they could finish the job right here. Is that over? And we and they do. Yes. Well, no, the over oh, under no, is fifty one. No. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I don't know Crap. why I press it. We're at two scores. I got to go back to the sim. So we're gonna watch the uh, the kickoff return here. Return it. Return it. Return it. Press the wrong button. Oh, nice crap. touchdown there from TCU. Right now it would be a cover. This is not good. Well, fun fact: there's not a lot of buffaloes um, out there to be. Uh, there's not a lot of buffaloes to be mascots. Um. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Are they gonna score? No, are they gonna score? Third and six. Fourth and six. Oh man, your your life hangs in the balance here, I'm Penn. I'm at my heart. And they don't get it. You gotta <laughs> the, the be field shitting goal. my. Dad. They <laughs> They went for the field I mean, goal, I, and he didn't hit it. Unbelievable turn of name. events. Time to find out that guy's name. <laughs> you got to love the Buffaloes, folks. 31-20, the under hits. <laughs> oh, my God. That's hilarious. That's not funny. <laughs> That is not funny. <laughs> it's pretty funny. As JT Redwine, 17-28, he doesn't get the over on the yardage, still throws two touchdowns. They got the job done when it mattered the most here. And, it's uh, unbelievable that you can do that. <laughs> As the TFLs only got two, one sack from Roach, an interception from Tony Phillips. Um, there you go, a couple of deflections.
Jonathan Johnson here, 34. He threw it 58 times, 400 yards, only one touchdown. Joe Stewart, once again, can't get anything going. Blue Jackson gets 7 for 70. Oh, my Lanta. Three TFLs here. Slightly. Slightly salted over there in Buffalo right now. Uh, rightfully How so, man. How about the 10-yard penalty when you're on the two-yard line? How about it, dude? How about it? <laughs> the 20, what was that, 22 Pushed field goal. 8,000 coins on the line for that bet, by the way. Yeah, so it wasn't, uh, Dave, it wasn't a slaughter, but Washington pulled away at the end for the two score victory. Shout out Zach for being here. Yeah, that's a tough mute. Got to follow the rules. I'm dead. Welcome in, Chef Moose. All right. That's right. You got a chance to win some bomb on us here as we, uh, as we watch Georgia Tech throw it away. So this is the crowning moment for Mike. You want Everything a on the line. Yeah, we're going to do a prediction. Every, uh, first, let me just make sure we only have two games left. One, two. Perfect. All right. So Coach Mike. Do you want me to make it or do you? Uh... Uh, I got it. I got it. All right. So as always, guys, no spreads or anything with our who wins. NC State. Is NC State going to do the impossible help out Coach TC? Or will Georgia Tech, the big bad wolf over here? I know that's uh, ironic because they're facing a big bad wolf, but all the homies so tell want. Me I don't put every... Tell me I don't put all the bananas in my account on Georgia Tech. Now, let me just, pr let me just throw this out to you, but Pin. You would rather face East Carolina in the ACC Championship. You want to know why? Because a loss to Georgia Tech will drop you to not a fun spot. No. However, a, no, I'd loss, play Georgia Tech. a loss to East Carolina, you will not drop too far. You'll still get a home game. See, I'd rather play at Georgia Tech because I'm quite honestly sick of your shit. He's running! He's running! Guy. He's um, running! Dude, did you see? Did I'd you... rather play Mike. Side I point. respect Mike more as coach. Side point, you did you did you see the Armani Campbell sack on Boss Hennessy? It was incredible. Uh, no. You should you should watch the highlight That's video. Tough. Or I at will least go find that. it's in the highlights channel if you don't want to watch the fifteen minute video. You know what? Is I actually I was gonna I got back to my dorm and I was actually gonna sit down and watch that game and not spoil it for myself. And then I goofed and like I was in the second quarter and I opened up the stupid like the notification that you sent of like the end of the game. Mm. I was like, damn, now I'm not going to watch it. But. Well, it was a great game for me. All right, so this sure. uh, you guys got your prediction going, but it's a seven-point favorite for Georgia Tech. They can clinch the ACC Coastal by winning this game and forcing ECU into only an at-large spot in the playoff. Um, I put the, 40K on the line. The over-under on this game is going to be, let me find it is 51.5 and we're looking at lee mcduffie ever since dante lesser went down he has been going ridiculous um like crazy so 150 rush yards and a touchdown for lee mcduffie will he do it today all right so mike uh kick or receive and a I lot of babanas so on I the think line i match up um i don't think i match up better against georgia tech per se i think First of all, I'd rather just not. Again, I don't. I'm done with TC shit. And then I'd also I'd be able to stomach a loss to you better than I would stomach a loss. To you. Oh, he's running. He's running. I hold and the I all time. I hold the. Uh, coach. You know what? You you won the one that mattered the most, but I still am beating you two to one. So I'll take that to the grave. Two to one, dude. And one of them. One of them, by the way. Forty-one to five. Who cares about a no, Rose Bowl where that. you got a piss six? Wah, wah. Who cares? I almost threw a pick six in that uh, Tennessee game. I It was very Billy close. Grant. All right, enough about you Buffalo and ECU is we got the Model A going here. Big game. The biggest game in... One of the most underrated players. This is the biggest game in Coach Mike's era. Remember, this is a coach who was 9-3 and three his first year. Everybody loved him, and then he sucked, suck, 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 and then he just wins all the reward <laughs> players, continues to suck, suck, suck. Um, 
receive. Okay, he's getting aggressive. Uh, so we'll see. Can he finally get that crowning achievement and win the division? First quarter. Come on, NC State. Come on. Come on, NC State. Get out to it quickly. No, you idiots. The, the game's over. If you let Georgia Tech score first, the game is over. You can't win. Oh, wait. 7-7. Seven, seven. Please. Please, Let's go, please, Stingham Jackets, please. dude. My buddy, my buddy goes to Georgia. Oh my Tech, God, this is a good watched, one, yeah, the folks. Bowl game together against UCF. Oh, and NC Sting. State. That's awesome. Oh God, NC State, do it, do it for ECU, baby. Do it for your buddies. No. Look at all that blue. Let's go. Oh, Glad I'm gonna Georgia get Tech blue balled. Right I'm gonna get blue balled. No. <laughs> this is horrific. The scenes are. Oh, a long touchdown. No. We're back at it, baby. NC State on the board. Remember, this is a team that beat UNC. So remember, we jump in at the two-minute mark, folks. Fourth so down. So did Georgia Tech, didn't they? Did they lose to UNC? Uh, I think they lost to UNC. I don't know. All right, we're going to jump in, though, here. NC State has the ball down three. They have to score they a touchdown to win. 14. Handoff. This is Harrison, and this is their best running back they've had since Houston won the Heisman back when they went to the playoff back in season nine. Steve Harrison, he's been very good this year. Oh, is this that like is... the Carmelo Cannon teams? Yeah. God, Hand Carmelo off. Cannon, man, the most disappointing quarterback I've ever seen. Second and two. Quick throw there. That are they going to give him the Short. first? Yes, they do. Ooh. Give him the forward progress. Colby Jackson. So a minute 30 here. Play. Colby Jack is a, is a cheese. Tech Sergeant has 15 tackles. What? Is we're in the I formation now. Oh, play action fake. Plenty of time all day. And he floats it wide. You can't be throwing it on that side of the field. Alfonso Sampson has like 20 interceptions this year. Cannot throw it that way. I don't know if that's true. As that they got the... No, he has like nine. But Perry Sly, the seven-footer in the middle, is getting a lot of talk in the comments as we're throwing it away! Stop it! NC State, you're killing me! Let's go. I stay undefeated on my fun fact. East Carolina. Our season hangs in the balance here. Third and ten. Inside the 30, delayed give. What are you doing, dude? I hate I hate it. Please kick a field goal. I, w I hope they miss the field goal. Please, please attempt. Yes, okay. All right, I'll take that. I'll take that. All right, he's 0 for 3 on the day. No. Left cash, <laughs> a 43-yarder. To tie this game up, 43 from left hash. Why are you letting the clock run, you imbeciles? What are we doing? This is terrible. This is terrible. All right, 43 from left hash to tie the game. NC State. Oh, hell. And it missed! Oh, Georgia Tech gets so lucky. So lucky, dude. What is that? Oh, my God, dude. He's a 66 overall. So. Uh, first oh, down sorry, wins 86, 86, it. This game 86, is over. 86. This game's over. As, oh my god. Can we get a lucky play or something? As Georgia Tech's going to win the division, I am sick to my stomach over here. That is just This gross. is a classic ECU, like, American uh, yeah, like, I, joke. Oh, I didn't away. choke. I didn't choke or anything. It's just I got unlucky. I, I, mean, I have a better. I have a better record. It's 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 just you know. You lost to Georgia Tech. That is not. See the is, funny thing is, is though is like I had the circle of suck advantage though with Tennessee. We have like a little try. That's great. Thing going that's on. That's great. Tennessee is not in your conference. I know, but that's the thing. I beat Tennessee. Tennessee beat Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech beat me. So. What are you talking about Tennessee? It doesn't matter. It does matter. It's all right. No, it doesn't, dude. It's all right. So 24 to 20, Mike finally gets back to the 
Conference Championship. First time since, I believe, his first season. It's back in, what was that, Season 9? There it is. The division winner and now our first uh, our first conference championship matchup will officially be Georgia Tech and Buffalo out of the ACC. Mike, I, I'm pumped for that. I'm pumped for that game. Winner very likely gets a bye in the college football playoff. Hey, you know what? I was thinking about this last night. Um, so do you remember? Like, I think, and I was going to put this in suggestions. But now oh, he just it. barely. <laughs> that was so close. Oh. So my my thing is, I think there should be no Patreon watch party for uh, for CCG week. What do we think about that? Uh, no. There's it will be a think, low level one. Yeah, but last year, like USM Georgia Southern would have been a great conference championship game, and then it got no hype because it was watch party. And when watch party was first introduced, you said that it wouldn't take anything away from like the server as as a whole. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, not. but there there time. are there are conference championships so that don't really matter in terms of the grand scheme of things. At that point, we yeah, thought it wouldn't 10... have mattered. Well, okay, but also for Georgia Tech, or for in that specific scenario, for Georgia Southern to matter, we had to have Rutgers choke to a seven and five team, which they did. We had to have LA Tech choke to a seven and five team, which they did. And then we had to have Matt, uh, Louisville not look good in the MAC championship, which they didn't. So there's like, and also Clayton Toon seven for twenty one, dude. I hate this team. All right, Lee McDuffie does not get the uh, does not get the prop. Well, bet. the people are on my side, so unfortunately we will be um, causing a ruckus in the server later. Oh man, you think I care about a ruckus? As Freddie Kazili, the SFA reject, gets a sack. Reggie Givens as well. Tech Sergeant, 15 touch or 15 tackles, not 15 touchdowns. Couple deflections. Force fumble here for TJ Phillips. And Leroy Smith. They are unable to get it done there at the end. Boo. NC State and now more of a hater. As they moved over to this division. And they can't cause the ruckus I needed them to. So they got three tier You think I care about a ruckus? Yeah, man. I I needed it. All right, so, Pin. So now, you and I have both been in the ACC two years. We both had one year winning the division, one year not. So let's see if you can take down Georgia Tech. As 0 for 4. You know what's funny is that I also have triple the amount of playoff wins that you have. You know what's crazy is soon I will have a trophy of my own. No, wrong, no. All I need is somebody to be Oklahoma for me, and I should be okay. Because I, I don't really think I, like I don't think I lose. Playoff. I don't think I lose to Georgia Tech in a in a game day setting. I'd like to play Tulane in the playoff and and kill. I think kill anybody them. would like to play Tulane in the in the playoff. I'd love to play UNLV. Those are free wins. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I think I'd Tulane, like to. I you mean, know what? You know another free, free win? win. You know who else is a free win? Buffalo. Buffalo. Yeah, Buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. So that will you do were it here. A different tale two years ago. That will. That will. Uh, that will uh, do it here for Bear Cave. That we're gonna have Florida State and Pittsburgh here in about five to ten minutes, and we'll preview Week Let's 13 go. here as we got a couple of good games. I get to thrash on NC State now that they screwed me out of a division title. Nice. Indiana, Congrats. Maryland, Maryland. They can uh, they can win the division with this game. Utah, Arizona. That is a not a big game anymore. This is a big game. You got Hawaii and UNLV. Winner of this is likely going to win the division now that Fresno State lost. Alabama, Oklahoma used to be a good game. That This is a big rivalry. This you, Kansas, Kansas. is That's the best rivalry. user rivalry in the SFA. Okay. Oh You're God, just oh trashing God. on it yourself. It is. What's better? Buffalo What's better than ECU? Kansas? Those guys what do you mean? What do you mean? You're saying I don't hate you? 
Wow. Uh, uh, Shame. True, I guess. Well, we've Shame. only played like once as like conference opponents, so I don't really. But this is. I do the, hate you. ECU though. in Buffalo is a such a natural rivalry that's formed out of literally nothing. Yeah, dude. Because you, this piece of shit, stole my. God, fuck you. <laughs> Okay, but like I lose to you in the Rose Bowl to like seven defensive scores. What else am I supposed to do? I needed corners. No, you didn't. I, you didn't I need him. It's your corner four. You didn't need him. Yeah, I, I I needed I needed one corner. <laughs> All right. You, so, you, you know what? That's it's fine, dude. If you want to come at me with that, you wanted to get revenge. Uh, fine. That's fucking. That's uh, that's fine. <laughs> you cannot tell me you needed him, dude, because he is your cornerback four right now. And he's an 88 overall. You cannot well, tell me he needed. didn't progress. He didn't progress well. That's I didn't bullshit. even. That's I only bullshit. pitched. I only pitched to Durr because I needed like a safety bet in case somebody else. Because remember, I only went like what? What was it? One dollar over your max. Um, but yeah. Anyways, that um, will do it. Like a hundred. I hate you. <laughs> All right. I hope everyone has a good night. I hope everyone not named TC has a good night. Um. I hope Pitt wins later because I love crew. I'm a part of the crew crew. Um, All right, there you and go. And I look forward to my conference conference championship game against Georgia Tech. Oh! And, uh, All right. Fun fact, he has had orgasms on stream before. What? All right. <laughs> You've heard All right. You know what I'm talking about. We've got Georgia Tech here. What a way to end it. All right, we'll be back in about five to ten minutes for game day. See you guys in a couple minutes. Peace.